hi guys so I just want to come on and make probably like a really really quick video um, I just wanted to talk about how easy it will be to get the mark of the beast um, and this is just from like dreams that I've had um, information gathered that like there's gonna be a time where you could just go out and get a haircut and it's the wrong person cutting your hair and boom you got the mark of the beast um just anything anything like that just as simple things that like if you're not in Christ or you know if you're just in the world that like all it's gonna take is just normal everyday things that you do um, and you'll end up having the mark like without even your knowledge um, I don't know if this is before or after the rapture um, very well could be after but um, you know there's been times where like I've just had moments where even in just real life I'm like you know my friend like she's talking about wanting a tattoo and um you know and the place the places are called like uh the tattoo parlors are called like um spider bite or medusa and i'm just like please don't do that like because it's like there's going to be a time where you go and get a tattoo and you end up getting the mark of the beast. Now, I mean, I, don't, I, I can't say that I'm completely right about this, but I mean, from information that I've gathered, um, I definitely don't think I'm far off the mark. Pun not intended. Um, about that happening. Um, I mean, I've had a dream before where this was before people were talking about um, people going door to door to give people the mark of the beast. Um, I had a dream where they were going door to door and they came like to my door and my sister was there. And I mean, at that time, apparently, like if you said no, they couldn't give it to you. So my sister was about to take it and I, I was like, no. And they stopped, looked at me, but she, like, but she let it happen anyway, so they continued to go ahead and do it. Um, and I think I even said in the dream, like, if you say no, they can't do it. Um, but I do believe that there's going to be a time where, like, if you're just not in Christ, like, and you happen to be in a certain situation and there's somebody who's probably not even themselves anymore probably taken over by uh, a reptilian drone you know that's that their only purpose is to go out there and deceive and give people the mark of the beast um you'll end up with it so that's why you know you have to be in christ um It's, it's a scary thought. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. I'm trying to think you guys, sorry. Like I have, sometimes I have the worst memory. <laughs> like there's something I want to say and then I just totally forget. Um... Mm, it's like right at the tip of my tongue too um I 
Oh yeah, um, I don't really want to get into the topic of drones, drones too much right now, but, um, they are infiltra infiltrating our world, um, in all facets of government, um, just everywhere, so I really could get into it pretty deep, um, there's so many layers, so many things to it, but I'm going to try not to right now, but, um, to me that's another thing, you know, when you got places like China who are literally the biggest droning place, like they're literally droning people left and right, I, I heard that's like the top place for people, China is the top place that drones people so there's just a big infiltration coming and I think um that may go hand in hand with the mark of the beast um I don't know if I ever posted this video but I did have a dream of like I, I think I was more of just like a part of the metaverse like I got I was stuck in the metaverse but only for a specific reason like like it's like I knew I was there I was there for a reason but it wasn't because like I accidentally was one in there but um it was basically like a China it was definitely like a China thing and it reminded me of what's that movie um It was that movie on Netflix. I actually never watched it, but um, it was that killing game. Like, it was that big, like, baby face thing that would talk or something, and like, you could only move when it when it told you to. But in that dream, there there was like a machine. It didn't look like that, but pretty sure it was. It may have been an Asian voice, but there was definitely like an Asian aspect to everything um and it was like it, I don't know what the machine wanted me to do but I started to give it attitude but like I knew that like it was starting to, it was about to get angry because like I was refusing or like being like disobedient to it and so I quickly like was like just kidding and like the anger in the machine's voice like went away so it was like it was like if you don't like what's it called maybe like if you're like a divergent like they want you dead so I had to like pretend like I wasn't going against it but I knew what was going on and in the dream because I, I do believe it was a metaverse dream in the dream it was like a lot of people were like in the metaverse and it was like you're in a whole nother reality and everyone like thought it was cool but eventually like it turned into like this it was like a huge sex slavery thing um because all around me I mean I didn't really see like actual actual sex like I saw like I can't explain it um like it's like you, I saw them having sex but like they weren't it was just like a quick like thing like showing me that like it was just sex going on everywhere and that it was basically like it became like a sex slavery place so it was like you were tricked into it and everyone's like oh this is so cool but then eventually like it wasn't cool and you were basically trapped in this um, sex slavery other world. Um, right now, I think that's all I can remember from that dream. But, like, that's, that's what it is, guys. Like, to me, that's exactly what the metaverse is. Like they're gonna chip you and you're gonna go into like a whole nother world 
you know, just like even now and what's been going on since probably the 40s, I believe, is the whole cloning, underground cloning stations where there's sex trafficking of children, abuse, murder, like the most disgusting things you could ever think of that are going on in this place. And it's because um, all they needed was your DNA. And they even had a thing where, you know, these people at the cloning centers, they would go through yearbooks and they would look for the children they wanted to clone. And then they would get your, your blood samples or something from the doctor, from your doctor. Um, so basically if you have a chip in your head, you get transferred, your consciousness during sleep, you get transferred to a clone body at a cloning center where now, you know, a Britney Spears or any other famous person, their clone is being used for sex and being raped by men and probably women too um now imagine if you can put consciousness like a consciousness in another body just, i mean just think of all the different directions that like this can go you know you put like the most evil consciousness in a nice person see how many people they can deceive because a whole nother consciousness is in that person's body now from a chip so I mean I guess that's all I wanted to talk about I could really get deep into it there's so much to it um, but I guess that's all I really want to talk about right now but you know I, I just thought of this because I just saw that you know robot manicure thing like to me, it's like, eventually, probably, oh, go get a manicure from the robot, and you end up getting chipped, and you don't even know it. So, you know, that's why we have to stay in Christ and be smart. We can't just let random people lure us into anything. So, just be safe out there, guys. Stay in Christ. Warn others. God bless you.